It's a draft. Yeah. All my friends pulled up for good vibes. We know that the good vibes could be gone to some. We ain't tryna live forever. In this video, there is a giveaway. Yes. So make sure you watch this video to the end. And within this video, there are questions you need to answer in order for you to qualify. Okay. So do not skip any part. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Etienne Sweet, and today I'm going to be doing my house tour of my one bedroom apartment in London. So if you're ready, come on in. Let's see this house. Yo guys, I'm super duper excited about this kitchen because mm, coming from my previous studio, I had like just this amount of space as a kitchenette. So right now I have like this really long slab that goes all the way down. I'll show you the whole thing. But the first thing you see when you come into my kitchen is my air fryer. Yo guys, this house came furnished but it didn't come with it, an air fryer. I actually got this air fryer just because Charles Candy makes me try all her dishes. But if you don't know who Charles Candy is, that's my sister. And she has like this really cool Instagram page. She's going to be the next big thing in the food industry, yo. Watch that space. I've tried to like segregate things. Like here, I've got like all my other quick kitchen equipment that I don't use day to day. Some candles and some extra boxes. Oh. And in here, I've got like... This is like my pantry for like Ninja Ninja and I'm <laughs> I mean we're expecting something more like that But yo, this is what a girl has so <laughs> Anyway, let's get back to this video Planning to get like containers to actually keep all them stuff But yo, all the girl needs is rice and pound dough and we're good <laughs> In here I've got spices More like for like spicy spice And here's like stuff for baking Um, You guys might have noticed I don't actually use like the top shelf because I'm tall, <laughs> but you know, one thing about London houses, so for those of you that don't live in London, is that everything is covered with like this formica wooden thing. So you might think this is a cupboard, guys, no, this is not a cupboard. This is actually my dish dishwasher, and I'm very happy to have a dishwasher just because sometimes I'm lazy. Uh, you can guess what is here. You think it's another cupboard, right? No, it is not. This is actually my washing machine. I really like it because this one actually washes and dries. In my old place, I had like a communal washer and dryer. So having like my own washing machine and drying that dries as well, for me was just I mean, a, a sandwich plus. girl. But my friend Obi makes like the meanest, meanest sandwich ever. Or like toast, if you want to call it that. It's actually toast, peanut butter and corned beef. And yo, yo. Please make sure you tr have you tried it. Let me know in the comment section below if you have. What do you guys think? Or if you have, women, just, like, just go now, buy corned beef, and get a toaster, toast it with some peanut butter because you know what that is life. Anyway, I'm not going to spend too much time, but this one he actually gifted me this because I ripped too much about his toast. Down here, I've got like the electric boiler and this containers for tea, sugar, and coffee. And you guys might notice like a theme going through the house with the bronze guys i have bronze cutleries um it came with the house as well the silver ones are actually mine so in a way that's kind of how i know her stuff and how mine. cute are these guys these um salt and pepper shakers they're really cute again going with that oh, oops i just put salt <laughs> going with that um bronzy feel i think it's really really cute um yeah what else do i want to show you you guys can guess this huge cupboard over here is not a cupboard again it is actually a fridge and fridge and freezer i actually miss like the generic fridge and freezer thing because in as much as i like this clean look that this whole cup cupboard um false cupboard thing gives I miss having to stick all my magnets on here. I used to be able to do that when I was in France, but apparently it's like a thing in London. Like they just cover everything. So this is my fridge. I think it's really good enough for one person. When I was doing like flat share, we used to actually segment it. And I had like, I think I had like two shelves 
but now i have like the whole thing um i've got a bunch of veggies in my fridge see i'm trying to be healthy these days um uh, and then of course the bottom part is the freezer really really amazing i've only got ice and frozen veggies in there as well i think veggies are going to start growing on my head so yeah and as you can tell it's just like this long stretch down and why i really appreciate it is that it just flows into like the living area then if if i just move to my right it takes me to my dining area what if i wake up happy and what if i wake up sad sorry if i said something something that made and just to the right of my kitchen is actually the most used area of my house which is my dining area first of all guys can you remember this painting yo so certain walls in this house actually were painted with this accent color this olive green and so when i came i was like yo i can actually put my painting here because it has like sort of that olive green and then it allows me to like add in extra colors i actually hand painted these guys so <laughs> just saying just saying anyway um i really like this area i've got this um vase this vase also came with the house and you can tell that my the person who designed this house initially that was in me actually still kept that whole bronzy feel and i've put some table mats here why did i why do i say like this is the, my most used area that's because I use this place to eat and also to work. Um, you can see my laptop here. I actually do some work over here and just, just scoot over to the side, have dinner. And then obviously if I have guests, like the table is wide enough for four people, even five. So I've got like a collapsible chair in storage and I can put another chair here. And yeah, I really, really like it. And I really love the chairs. Like throughout the house, I like the introduction of the wooden feel like the table and the chair. This table and chair actually you can find in Ikea because I know I once wanted to buy this particular chair. So I will check in Ikea and then leave the link in the description box below. Plus up here, I've got these beautiful plant holders. I think they're absolutely beautiful and I've got like actual plants in there. But yo, <laughs> the one in the middle died, so SEO Gene had to improvise because IKEA is still um, locked because of the lockdown. So I've just stopped and stuck my <laughs> my fake plants in here and just popped it in here. I think like it still keeps the vibe that I was going for. But obviously, once this house passes probation, yes guys, this house is on probation. What do I mean by that? See, I've lived in a number of houses. And in, in the beginning, when you move to a house, you're like super excited. But a few months in, you're like, uh oh, this is not working, that is not working. You so I always give a house like probation of three, six months. After which I can then, if I really like it, then I can start decorating, which is why I plan to. So now we're going to be moving to the lounge. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad feature. Oh my god, I love this lounge, guys. Can you tell? Let me tell you something. I'm so happy that now I actually own a sofa, guys. You don't even know what that means for me. Like, I came to London, I didn't have a sofa, I did in a house share, and then moved to a studio, and I live in a one bed where I actually have my own sofa. I can actually sit and watch TV. I really like it. Like, the first night I moved here, I actually slept on the sofa because I was so excited. But I spent a number of throw pillows. Again, <laughs> once this house passes probation, I'm definitely changing the true pillows because yo, they're due for some change. But I really like the idea, like the theme. You can see that soft brown bronzy thing with the true pillows and then a little touch of black like with these frames and all of that. Um I've also got my um troll, like my blanket. I've all, I've had this since my very first room tour and I felt like it just really matched the space. Um, of course I've got this really nice dark brown coffee table perfect for you know if I wanted to stretch my leg put on it I'm kidding or just have sweets or something like that. But out of everything in this 
lounge area this right here people this is my favorite thing i'm all about this whole raffia woven basket -y thing <laughs> like i really really love it like when i came for the house viewing when i saw this i was like yes yo i can't wait to actually start redecorating because i'm definitely going to buy some raffia baskets to put my plants in and all that vibe so, yes, yo. enough rambling around about the floor let's go up here guys i just love this whole area where i've got my shelves and my tv you guys might remember from my old video in my studio i had um, storage issues so i, I got this color from my ikea and now it's serving as a decorative piece in my living room i really like it how did i decorate it i just wanted it to be very minimal and clean and um, so i've got like my textbooks down there candle holders some fake flowers and here i've got like my old journals i really used to journal a lot um i really like this one up top this one was actually a gift from my sister and this tv stand yo when i came into this house this was like the second best thing aside from the raffia rug I really love this stand. I like how clean and white it is. I've just placed a really nice card that I got during Valentine's Day over there. Once this house passes probation, yo, there's still a lot of revamping I want to do to this area because my eyes need something here. I might just put some plants, like hanging wall plants maybe. But definitely this area here needs like a full on massive plant situation here and then i'm planning to put some raffia baskets or boxes in this slot here to just keep like magazines or anything like board games and so and, and then we've got these lovely windows guys i can't tell you how much i love these windows because kind obviously you can tell you can see the amount of sun that's coming in and it's perfect because i need natural lighting for shooting my youtube videos and yeah i really like how it makes the house very lit and the curtains are great like they're thick enough that when i close them it actually blocks out all the lights because sometimes the light from the sun is just too much like way too much so yeah there's that and over here you might see this door i'm thinking is this does this door lead to out to the outside no this is the door that leads to a great storage space <laughs> um yeah it's just like the heating area and then I've got like extra tripod, my air fryer container and a picnic bag and some other stuff. I just store like basic things that I don't need day to day. And of course I've got like this love thing. And um, this actually came with the house. And it reminds me of like Shekere that we use in church, you know? Oh single, single, praise the Lord, praise. Okay, I'm stopping. What do you think about this clock? I think this clock just makes this room i don't know it just gives it like this very rustic feel and i really really like it i like how big and bold it is with the roman barrel so i hope you really like the lounge area as much as i do it's actually my favorite area and like i said this is like one massive space that has just been compartmentalized so that's the lounge over here we've got the dining area and on my left is the kitchen it's just perfect like it's so seamless like when i need to move around so yeah now that i've shown you this part of the house come on let me show you the room Ryan Little <laughs> Welcome to the other part of my house, which is my bedroom. Yo, people, this room, this room is giving me life. I know there isn't much in it, but yo, I'm all about minimalist style. And let me tell you the best thing about this room, white walls. If you know me, if you know Essie Ogene, you know, I love myself some white walls. Like, I don't want any color in my room. I like how simple and clean it is. Um, she didn't have a lot of things in here, which was perfect because it gives me like a blank slate to actually redecorate when I want to. For now, I've just, you know, put my regular bedding. You might have recognized this from my first um, room tour. Um, these pillows I actually got from Ikea. They have still 
not deflated thanks be to god i've got two side tables can you guess which side table or which side of the bed i actually sleep on i think you can guess from what i have on my side table um i like being really close to like the charging port area what side of the bed do you guys normally like to sleep on let me know in the comment section below and then i've got this um bedside lamp i need it because i cannot be standing up and be going to one turn on the switch for the lamp so i have this um by the side of my bed and then i've got this frame you guys might have recognized it from my last studio tour i actually got this print inside from poundland i think it came like a set of four and it falls like one pound and i got like speaker my bible and this is a candle holder i don't have any candle in it right now and then a book that i just started reading i'm going to talk more about it in one of my vlogs it's called me to crave it's actually a christian book i really really like it anyway guys let me just draw your attention to this lamp i mean this light fixture is not a lamp but i really really like how it looks and like the light seeps through all of those um openings so it's really really beautiful I'm not going to turn it on because you guys can't see the effect because it's quite bright in my room at the moment down here i've got a little work corner if i ever decide to walk in the room i've got a table and this is my chair this chair has been with me since the start of lockdown guys right, check this out yo yo look at that light and view babies but what you can see from out here is actually my balcony and i will show you that um after we leave the room and then it's got this really nice it's actually a window i was hoping i would have loved it if it was a door but i don't mind it being a window like a lot of fresh air actually comes in when i open the window so i'm just going to close this off because yo this room is like the light this other side of the room i've got another window here this house and windows i'm just loving it i've got another nice view i can see like the car park downstairs again i'm planning to use this room up by adding some plants here or here you guys let me know in the comment section you're seeing the room tell me where i should add a really lovely plant to this room um so this is my wardrobe guys i just wanted you to see me on the other end of the camera <laughs> yeah and it's got a mirror i really like the mirror it's like a decent sized mirror i would have loved like a really big mirror but again keeping it very minimalist the wardrobe is just one in my previous place the studio had two but guys i wanted to show you this my scarf collection yo i'm about to maybe in the future when i blow i'm going to release some merch around scarves like i'm obsessed with scarves like I have so many and this so is not guys, everything um, just because the wardrobe is not going to be enough for me and again i can't hang everything in my wardrobe so i decided to get this dresser i really really like it and i went with the same wooden feel just to keep the same aesthetic in the house wooden doors wooden wardrobe and all of that not everything all white and um, again my work table is quite small so i didn't want to crowd it so i decided to move this here and use this as my earring holder <laughs> uh just to keep my earrings in the meantime and then i've got this frame oh this frame is like my favorite thing in my in this room it was actually a gift my birthday gift last year and i really love it because it actually tells you the meaning of my name my name is actually my full name is let me give you a second to figure out if you can pronounce it okay you can't it's essay again and it means a special gift from god i really really love this um in this area i'm planning this is one area that i definitely want to redecorate so let me know in the comment section below i have two options painting or mirror please help me decide so once you come out of the room you actually see this door which actually leads to the bathroom nothing special in here it's just your basic massive mirror toilet and i've got a bathtub this time around instead of a shower and on this door this door is actually storage this door is storage like yo i've got shit loads of storage i can actually hide a human being <laughs> now that you've know. seen the whole room um let me show you the balcony okay let's go It's just a drive. You know what it is. Yeah. Wood 
put stock free vibes on me. Music keeps my lonely. Now, let's go to the balcony. Guys, I'm so happy that I finally have a balcony. Like, yo! Wait. I think this is, this will this will make for a good thumbnail or a Kodak moment, you know. <laughs> I I just want to sit out here. You guys have seen if you follow me on Instagram. One of those days, I actually sat out here and had some wine and read a book. Like in this kind of weather, it's just perfect. And um, for now, what I have, this came with the house. I got like this small table and this um, frames. I won't really say that it's like chair frames and these um there's like the padding or the pillows for the um sofa outside or the chair outside but it'll, she only gave me four and that's for just one on one of the seating so definitely I need to jazz up this area and buy more pillows and definitely green this place out with more um plants and all of those nice things let me know in the comment section below guys let's decorate my balcony together tell me give me inspo links where i can see like a really nice balcony inspo because yo summer is coming summer is coming but yeah that's the balcony remember my shakeri moment i've got another little one out here so whoop, this breeze wants to reduce my bright price let me go inside <laughs> and yeah guys if you enjoyed this video Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share, you know? And yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I'm just saying that again because I love living in this house so much. And yeah, until my next one. Bye. Woo! It's a draft. Yeah.